Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many Linux enthusiasts encounter. Our viewer has cloned a Linux kernel repository on their Arch-hosted machine, which runs on Ubuntu 16.204. They were able to boot into a new kernel just two weeks ago, but after a recent update and recompilation, their system now hangs at the loading initial RAM disk image stage. Let's dive into the details of their situation and explore how we can help debug this kernel loading issue in VirtualBox. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To begin debugging the kernel loading issue in VirtualBox, let's first ensure that your VirtualBox settings are optimized for running a custom kernel. Check that the virtualization extensions are enabled in your BIOS. Next, let's verify the kernel configuration. It's crucial that the kernel is configured correctly for VirtualBox. Use the command make local mod config to generate a configuration based on your current hardware. After configuring the kernel, rebuild it and the initial RAM disk. Use the commands make and mkinitcpio plinux.4.11.custom to ensure everything is up to date. If the issue persists, try adding additional debugging options to the kernel boot parameters. Use debug early print k equals serial ttys0 15200 to get more detailed output during boot. Lastly, if you still encounter problems, consider testing with a different version of VirtualBox or checking for updates. Sometimes compatibility issues can arise with specific kernel versions. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To debug kernel loading in VirtualBox, start by using KDB, the kernel's built-in debugger, to check if the kernel starts and if you receive a prompt at startup. For more advanced debugging, try setting up KGDB, which is GDB for the kernel. You can activate both KDB and KGDB for comprehensive debugging options. For detailed instructions, visit the official KGDB documentation linked below. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.